Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create a super easy yarn decolor picture. I want to start by providing a disclaimer that this project was one that I came up with on my own, though I'm sure many others have done it before. But what I mean is that I wasn't following or inspired by another DIY video for this project, so not all of my methods turned out to be the best. In the written post below this video, I'm providing some tips you should read first before starting this project on your own. Lessons learned. For this project, you will need a wood board. In my case, I bought this wooden plaque from Michaels. This piece also has ridged edges, which will be helpful for a design element later. You also will need yarn. I used a golden yellow, gray, dark blue, and on the left is turquoise. I got these from Walmart. You will need a glue gun and plenty of glue sticks. You will go through quite a few glue sticks, so it would be best to have a stockpile and you will need a pencil and scissors. Here is the image I'm basing my design off of. I'm particularly looking at number 7 at the top. You can choose whatever image you like, but geometric patterns tend to work best. To start, I'm going to freehand draw the design. I'm not too worried about making the drawing perfect because it's just going to be covered up by the yarn. It is serving as a guide though for where I want things placed. You can see I have the sun drawn at the top and then waves below and then mountain lake figures. Next I'm going to start gluing the yarn for the outline of the waves. I'm going to use gold as an accent color for the waves. But I'm not going to do the sun yet, that will be the last thing that I glue. When gluing, you can put down quite a bit, but just remember to not let it dry before you get the yarn in place. It's pretty self-explanatory though, so let's speed it up. Once I have the outlines completed, I'm going to begin filling in the sections. You want to make sure the rows are right next to each other. And it may help to sort of squeeze the rows closer. I also was looping the yarn when it came time to head in the other direction, but I will explain shortly why this wasn't the best way to do it. Let's speed it up, I think you got it. Mm -hmm. 
One tip I learned about halfway through this section is to twist the yarn before applying it because it tended to unravel as I was working. You should also keep the yarn tight as you lay it down. This will just help you create tighter rows and prevent gaps. As you can see, I finished this bottom section. However, the looping method left the edge of the project uneven. I'm going to fix this unevenness with a frame element later, but for now the important thing to note is to switch from the looping method to just using straight lines, and cut the yarn whenever you reach the side of the board. I'm also leaving extra yarn on the edges which will help with the frame element. And here is what it looks like once the picture is finished. I ended up making the dark blue section taller and adding rays to the sun. This wasn't part of my original plan, but I needed something to fill up the rest of the space. In the written tips below, you will find ways to get around this. Now we still have the extra yarn hanging off of the board. I'm going to solve this by creating a picture frame to go around the edge and cover part of this yarn. Here's what a few layers of the frame look like. What I did was hot glue the first round of string around each side of the board, and then I just wrapped the other layers. Sometimes the yarn would pop off, which was really annoying, but that just meant I needed to pull the yarn tighter and add a dab of glue on the corners. Once you got a good sized and secure border, you can cut off the extra strings. Then you want to continue wrapping the border, and please don't be like me and get tangled in the yarn. That only makes the process take way longer. <laughs> Lastly, you want to secure the yarn. I tucked mine through the layers on the side. And then I glued it to the back of the board. Let's see what it looks like in its final form. I like it for my purposes. What I wanted was something to match my workspace in my bedroom, and I wanted the texture of the yarn to pop. I accomplished both of those things. What makes me so excited about this project is that those who are really good at drawing could come up with some amazing designs, and it's relatively easy to glue everything down. Please subscribe to keep up with my content and check out the description box for details on my social media. I also have a music channel where I post original songs. All of the info is in the description box. I'm Olivia Farley. I'm a writer, producer, volunteer, entrepreneur, and adventurer. This is my sign off. Bye now.